Today, the CDC will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the blood clotting possibility associated with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. There are six reported cases of rare but severe blood clots now. One woman died, another is in critical condition. Now, for context here, there's been 6.8 million people who have received the Johnson & Johnson vaccination so far. The White House insists the pace of vaccination will not change much. 95% of the supply so far has come from Pfizer and Moderna, and Pfizer has announced that the company will boost production and deliver 10% more doses to the U.S. by the end of May in response to the Johnson & Johnson news. We're also learning more about the women who suffered those adverse reactions. Each were under the age of 50 and reported rare blood clots within 13 days of getting the shot. If you recently received Johnson & Johnson vaccine, health officials suggest you just be on the lookout for severe headaches, abdominal and leg pain, and shortness of breath. If you have any concerns, they say you should contact your doctor. Now, 